Call at 831-479-1080. That's 831-479-1080. And now, here are your hosts for tonight's program, Neil Pearlberg and Terry Campion. Good evening and welcome to the Off The Dip Radio Show broadcasting from Santa Cruz, California. Good evening and welcome. Thank you, Mr. President, for that wonderful speech. I am one of those proponents of Obamacare. Yes, Chris, I did sign up for Obamacare. But I think the continuing ringing... I had surf, surface ear surgery be taken care of by Obamacare, by the way, but I think the, the continuing ringing in my ears is the other 40 million people who were pissed off that they didn't get Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> oh! In the house! Ta-da! First time that he's been late. Ever. St ever. Last time I left you in a bar stool at Suda... Shh. It didn't I shouldn't happen. say the word suited because they're not sponsoring our show. Well, they might after you talk about them a little bit. How was the beer at Suda? Ice cold. It was ice cold. Yeah, it was mine beautiful. Would have been really, mine, yeah. would have been, mine was laying on the on the bar if I spilled the <laughs> damn thing and all over my all over tonight's guest. I tell you what, you well, could have been a 49er out there fumbling tonight. I'll tell you. Yeah, 49ers aren't doing so good. No, the Warriors they're on fire. On fire. Uh, I'm not a Seattle fan, so I'm looking forward to their butt being kicked in the Super Bowl, by the way. I am. Yeah, me too. Dedicate this, de dedicate tonight's show to Ricardo Dos Santos. Mm. What do you think, TC? I feel like uh, whether you are a professional surfer or just a normal human being, there's no place for violence in this world. He was uh, murdered by an off-duty policeman near his home. Well, you know, it's uh, uh, just because you're a cop doesn't mean you're a good person, so... Uh, how he was murdered, I don't know. Right. I wasn't there, but I think it's sad. Right, so we dedicate the show to him. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of bullets. No. Do you own a gun? I don't. I don't own a gun either. <laughs> yeah, I have firecrackers. Does your, does your wife own a gun? <laughs> she might. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sleep with mine eye open? Yeah. Phew. Uh, but, just by the way, it's a great dedication. Um, I have friends. I didn't know him personally, but I have friends who were close to him right. and uh, a, a very happy human. I, you think know? And, was, uh, I think Nelly was close to him. Yeah, Nelly. I think anyone that's involved in, in professional surfing knew him well and, uh, you know, just a zest for life right. and uh, stoked surfer. Like, it's too, right. too early, too soon, you know? Right. So uh, I think we, dedicating tonight's show, very appropriate. Thank you. Yeah. Our first guest from the country of Netherlands. By the way, yes. is Amsterdam in the Netherlands? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. I will give you I will give you uh, I will give you huge kudos. Hmm. Uh, I'll a ball of patron if you can guess the color of the of their soccer team's uniform. Green. That would be wrong. Uh, it should be green. No, it's orange. <laughs> Am I right? Good. Very good. Thank you very much. I know my Dutch soccer. I don't. Uh, Amber Marie Reichman's in studio tonight. She is a lovely lady from the country of Holland with an unbelievable water resume, which we're going <coughs> to unfold here very shortly. But before we begin, the best soccer player from Holland to come out of Holland is whom? Can I say so? Right ahead, right now. Johan Cruyff. Boom! Boom! Wow! <laughs> Boom! Okay, Johan? <laughs> Johan. Yeah, Johan's Christ. the man. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's the, the man. A guy. He's a guy could play some soccer. Sure. I, I'm sorry, I got my soccer on right now. So he's got a, he's my kids at Kirby. I'm coaching my kids at Kirby. He won a game last week. Oh, hallelujah. We won a game. Oh, wow. It's so yes. funny. Surfing, skating, we're talking about soccer. I know. It's awesome. Well, he does this to me all the time. I'm like, Johan who? I don't I know. know. I know. He puts, yeah. and you know what? But he put him on this, I put him on the spot. He and Johan probably lives in a castle and drives a Ferrari or something. But I don't know, Johan. Johan who? Whatever. Amory Reichman. Surfer, mm -hmm. windsurfer, mm -hmm. stand-up paddleboarder. Well, you have to talk to stand-up paddleboarder. No, it's fantastic. And I just found out a like shaper. a half hour ago, she's right. married to Eric Toda. Who, who is... Who is, a, 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 <laughs> in, in my opinion, a fantastic waterman from Santa Cruz who uh, relocated to Maui many years ago. And Eric is a... And, uh, seriously, a great dude, and I just found that out. So, congratulations to having married, a great, a great dude. Right, yeah. married Thank in you. November. Yeah, just recently, Fresh. newlyweds. Fresh. She's Fresh. still wearing white. The honeymoon's not over yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Seven year itch. They're kissing in verve. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, oh my oh, god. Where are they yeah, kissing in yeah, verve? Like, the honeymoon oh. only gets better. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're in verve kissing. <laughs> All right. First off, we... the kissing in verve uh, thing. We yeah. gotta talk about that. Eric, call in. Let us know what's if up. If you do want to, anybody wants to call in tonight, the phone number is eight three one four seven nine ten eight. 
Brady. You are listening to the Off The Radio Show. We are on Facebook, mm-hmm. Instagram. Twitter. Tweeting. Mm-hmm. YouTube, uh, all YouTube. over the place. Oh, yeah. Go to YouTube. Yeah. They're all on you. Most Hundreds, of the shows on You know what's funny? This is the 99th show. Wow. And I just, by the way, I just was like gazing at YouTube. Hundreds gazing. of thousands of people have watched this show on YouTube. I know. It's awesome. Yeah, it's Lots. crazy. Who would think that you... Yeah, I know. You, it's not people. me. It's not me. It's, it's our guests. guests. It's yes, the guests. I don't for bring, sure. I don't yeah, bring anything. No, you and I are chumps. Yeah, as Peter Mel said, you know, you're so, yeah. you suck. You're, you're ter- so bad, you're, it's good. You're terribly good. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. I know. Hey, who's the show brought by? Tonight? Who's the show brought by? What's Three right? Nine Surf Shop. That is. They were pal. Dude, I suppose, you know what? Here's the deal. I go to I go to see Tara today. Mm-hmm. Oh, here she goes. She's saving herself, right? Went to Tara today. She's so busy because she couldn't write the ad. This... Portion of the show is brought to you by Surf by Freeline Surf Shop. She just texted me. Well, in her defense, oh, she said, "I'm confident you and TC will come up with something just dandy." She's she listen. She is Did managing the, two world class surfers. She has a big job. Does man. Brittany have the baby yet? No, uh, the uh, uh, Brittany has not had her baby. The poll is still open. If you want to uh, go stop on? by Freeline, you can put Five money bucks. into it. Yeah, it's yeah. like a football pool. Yeah, when she's gonna have a baby? Pool. Yeah, right. baby pool. Yeah, whatever yeah. they're talking about. But uh, I walked by there today. They're full of some really good stuff. New yeah, shipments yeah. of wetsuits, Quicksilver, and O'Neill in stock. Hoods, gloves, booties, too. Yeah. They got it all. For sure. Tara, if you've got more stuff, let me know. I'll put it on the air. Well, and let's be real. We've had like two weeks of swell. I'm sure everyone is sick of having a hole in the ass of their wetsuit. Go yeah. buy there and get a new wetsuit. Yeah, they you got, know? The good, like, they got good gear. Yeah, stop being bummed about your wetsuit and go get a brand new one. Winter is long. Oh, it like, is uh, long. Freelance Surf Shop, 821? 821 41st Avenue, yeah. When was the poke night? We haven't had a poke night it's, in a while. I think it was... It's, uh, Did we get John, shunned? I just talked to John Did we get shunned? No, no, no. no. It's, uh, it was supposed to be maybe tomorrow night, but I kind of flaked on it, so maybe next week. Okay. By okay. the way, anyone listening, the boardroom and Freeline have a long Standing history, history. Yeah, of poker tournaments. Yes. You know, a lot of fun. Unfortunately... John Which, Mel's a card shark. That's what sucks. His brother's even worse. God. I hate that guy. Yeah, that guy's not invited anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's Michael. Not. Michael, if you're listening, you can't come anymore. No. Yeah. Bring the Chinese moonshine, though. The moon, uh, That stuff was brutal. That was Steve Salyer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, from We've China. We've got to introduce our guests. We've been like 50 minutes. <laughs> got a word in edgeways here. What have, what have we been talking about? Just crap. Yeah, thank you. It's the same thing the president was talking about, wasn't it? Did you listen to the president? No. Yeah, you were in Suda. Hmm. Anne-Marie Reichman's our guest tonight. Welcome, Anne-Marie. Hello. To the show. Happy to be here. Stoked? Yes, stoke it. Now, you, you, I said to you, give me five things you want to talk about in tonight's show. <clears throat> so what's the most important thing? The now. The which? The now, being here. The, the now, being the here? Now. Yep, the now. The, so, the past is the past, and the future will be the future. Is, there's no future in the past, by the exactly. way. Exactly. So your, your career started in Holland. It did, yeah. Right? Windsurfing? Because windsurfing was back in the day. Yes. Way Is that back. where it started for you? Yes, that's where it started. It's dead now. It's dead on the door now, right now. It's not as popular as back in the day, but it's not dead. It's alive for the people who do it. I have to that's say. That's true. Yeah. For sure. No, there's passionate. Right. Oh, they're going folks. off. Yeah. They're doing like double rotations, double combos. Like they're totally pushing it in like in the waves, in freestyle, wherever. Right. Um, now, you're a professional windsurfer, correct? I was, yeah. Who was yeah. paying you? I was paid by Roxy, uh, Starboard, Nash back in the day, um, a couple other companies. Um, wow. Yep, yep. I had. Those are big companies, TC. Yeah, Nash is, it? well, yeah, for sure. No, and let's be real. Uh, anywhere there's wind and water, you can windsurf. Right. It's a, and it's Holland's a, got plenty of wind Well, and the got landscape is much bigger than uh, the potential of some other water sports. Right. Totally. But I had to leave the country to get some better waves, and I glad, I'm glad I did. Where'd you go? Uh, my first big overseas trip was South Africa. Right. And the next one followed a couple months later by Hawaii, Maui. Right. And um, you stayed there? I stayed there, but then not for too long. I've been uh, Australia every winter after and uh, a couple around the world laps wherever the competitions went in between training. So uh, what, where the, so there, was, there were women's competitions for windsurfing? Yes. Or were you involved with the men? Separate for women? No, we had a, our separate tour. It was a little bit less evolved than the men. Right. And then, uh, so on my time off, I would just squeak in a trip here and there to explore some countries, some new waves, and have a good time. Where's the best place to win, sir? Aruba? Maui. 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 Aruba? Uh, That's flat say, water, bro. Come on. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. Highlands. I wanted to pick something different. <laughs> That's like uh, Europeans and Speedos blow, and stuff. You know, That's all there. there. Western by Australia. The way, <laughs> by the way, very Neil might have been seen in a Speedo in his younger <laughs> life. Just going to say it right now. If you got evidence of that, <laughs> please I'm not going to comment. If you got evidence of that, please. All right. Put-
Facebook page. But in Aruba, not, just, shut up. I'm just going to fill you in. In Aruba, <laughs> you kind of sailboard in a Speedo. That's you kinda, do? That's kind of the look. Yeah, right. I'm just going to say. You yeah, can go like, fast there for sure. Good look. See, I picked, the, yeah, I picked yep, a windsurfing yep. spot. It's, you the, did. it's you the, did. the Caribbean San Luis Four Bay. Got it. Got it. But if you want to win, if, Maui's the place. Maui, Australia, amazing too. Right. And uh, uh, Canary Islands, all the mm. islands, they, they pick up a lot of wind and waves. So right. a lot of choice. But I personally love to go back to Maui and spend time there. It's awesome. Right. So when did, when did the paddleboarding career start up? Um, I about mean, I'm, I can imagine. I can, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I apologize. <laughs> no worries. I interrupted you. Um, well, Everybody was doing it, and um, just like all the other sports. But I personally, in 2008, I grabbed a board. Um, the Nash people had a board, and they were like, hey, you want to come on and try it out? And I'm like, yeah, for sure. And I uh, was challenged, sore the next day, and I'm like, I have to go get the hang of this. So you're paddleboarding at the canals, right? I guess, would you be paddleboarding at the canals in Holland? Because there's a lot Absolutely. of canals. Yes, Through yes. the tulips. Yes, before, I would just come home and be kind of ocean-deprived, and now I take a paddleboard in whatever city or area I'm at, which is super cool. Before we go to commercial, who sang that song, Tiptoe Through the Tulips? Uh, Tiny Tim. Tiny wow. Tim. Yeah. You yeah, remember that. That was a oh, trivia. Yeah. Tiptoe <laughs> through the tulips. tulips. <laughs> yeah, we got that. Are you kidding me? Tiny <laughs> Tim, yeah. I All can't right. believe there's been a Tiny Tim uh, reference in the show. I think he passed away a few years ago, if I'm not mistaken. He I did? think Tiny Tim might have passed away. Uh, but if, if anyone dude. listening can help he us out huge. with that. He was a big dude. He was a big if dude. you know when Tiny yeah. Tim died, give us a call. 831-479-1080 is the phone was number. maybe the Weird Al Yankovic of the 70s. Don't tell Bonnie that. Oh. Bonnie will come on the show as Tiny Tim. <laughs> right, so. uh, this is Neil and TC with the Off The Radio Show broadcasting from Santa Cruz, California. We'll be right back after this very short break. Thinking of a vacation in Santa Cruz? Then contact Beach Nest Vacation Rentals at 831-722-0888 to make your reservation. The very best local vacation management company with their staff will take care of the tiniest of details to better your memorable Monterey Bay holiday. They are pet friendly with a choice of homes on or close to the beach in Santa Cruz and the Central Coast. For further information, go to beachnest.com or follow them on Facebook. Toyota Santa Cruz is under construction, building a state-of-the-art facility at their current location on 41st Avenue and Highway 1. Julie Frigoli, the general manager, would like to invite you all to take advantage of their need for room while all the heavy equipment is on their facility. She would like to inform you that there is no time like now to get unbelievable savings on a new Toyota or one of their certified pre-owned vehicles and that their highly rated parts and service is still open seven days a week. So now is the time to take advantage of their mess. Head down to Toyota Santa Cruz or check them out online at santacruztoyota.com. Hi, this is Steve Pereira, the beach guy at Bailey Properties in Santa Cruz, California. If you're looking for a beach home or a coastal property, give us a call at 831-818-7064 or you can call my wife Diane at 831-818-5939 or drop in on our website at lifesabeach.com and check out all the inventory in all price ranges. We've been selling beach properties since 1982. We're here to help you. Give us a call today. And we are back with the Off The Dirt Radio Show. I want to thank Steve Prera, one of our advertisers who, at his house last night, managed to suck down three beers and a little bit of Patron. Thank you, Steve Prera. And the linguine sausage the barbecue was... Uh, that dude's amazing. He's a great guy. Yeah, seriously. He's. Yeah. I mean, it's... And uh, they support, they've, they've supported the show from day one. And he once in a while, I'll get like a cool note from yeah, him, yeah. social media, like, yeah. hey, TC, just wanted to say hi. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, Steve's okay, for sure. If you want a realtor, they, him and Diane, I'm telling you what, man, they are the best. Well, and they rock. I have experience with Wheeler. They, they first off, they got to be your friend. Yeah, and they got to have your back. Yeah, they got they got yeah. your back. Okay, go get them, Steve. This portion of the show, this is the trivia portion of the show. So currently, as we speak, this very second, we have no question. We got no prize. We got nothing. Let's just talk got, about Felix. I wait, Felix once texted me today. Once that everyone know that he's busy again. Mm. The new band, he's packed. Right now, the turnaround time is two to three weeks for Felix. Hmm. 
Two to three weeks, man. Not you're bored. I don't know. What do you think? That's okay. Well, you know what? If you want the best, you it's know, worth the it's wait. It's worth the wait. You want your board fixed properly? And I'll tell you why. The resale value of the board right. will be up. there if you have a proper right. ding repair. You also want to let the public know, anybody who is looking for a, a gig with some help, he wants, he's, he's employing again. He's so busy, he's hiring. I think Greg, advertising on the Off Lip Radio Show works. Okay, any, <laughs> I'm serious. Any Grom out there wants to learn, you know, any any Grom out there wants to learn to ding repair, you can work anywhere in the world knowing doing ding repair. Go down there and learn from the best. It's sand dollar surfboard repair. If your board screwed up, messed up, wrecked, well, and let's be honest, ding. you know, I'm a parent, and yep. uh, I would let my kid work for Felix for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Quinn, my son Quinn worked for Felix. Yeah. No, he's a great guy. So the trivia questions: What are you giving away? Skate deck. Oh, a yep. skate deck. Skate deck. Yep. Woo. Santa Woo. Cruz skateboard tonight. Last week's guest, that was Shane Desmond. Mm. What is what is unusual? What does Shane Desmond do at Mavericks? That's unusual. TC. Is that the question? That's the question. What the question is, right? Uh, we know I, what it is, right? I know the answer. Okay. Eight three one four seven nine. Chris the engineer. Eighty. No, he doesn't know yet. <laughs> 831-479-1080. If you know, Shane Desmond surfs at Mavs. He's in the Titans Mavericks contest this coming up. He got second place in 2010. Next to Chris Burdish. Right. Great paddleboarder, by the mm. way. The awesome. Burdish, mm-hmm. Burdish man is going to be paddleboarding across the Atlantic here mm. shortly. How about that? It's crazy. Yeah. So what's, what if does you know Shane do out there that's different? Yes. All right. 831-479-1080. Yeah. You win a brand new skate deck. Mm. From the Santa Cruz boardroom. All right. I just did that. Hope my wife's not listening. No, she's not listening. Yeah. She's at yoga right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> In studio tonight, our guest, our first and likely only guest from Holland, Anne-Marie Reichman's in studio. We're talking about her love of the water. Yes. I want to talk about your surfboard shaping. Right? Cool. So you started... You, not too many females are shaping boards. <clears throat> I've heard. So, so when, you know, Ashley, Ashley Lloyd here in town makes some, f- obviously, some great boards, great surfboard maker. But you started making boards when? I'd say a year ago. Okay. Pretty much. Um, what, what, what did you, what did you get in, what, of your water knowledge and your water sh- watermanship, as it were, what do you bring into the table as far as, pa- as far as making surfboards? I think I have a good idea what I like from right. all the years, um, windsurf boards, paddle boards, surfboards, and um, it's been a great opportunity to actually make your own vision into your own board. Like you can work with your measurements, with your width, and with your length, and um, even your leaders just started uh, shaping on a computer right. before I did a couple by hand. Right. So I'm mean, still in the process of uh, getting everything fine-tuned, but it's uh, it's just a, a canvas. It's like doing art, and um, and then write and use the the thing you you make is even uh, more amazing. I want to do that one of these days. I it's shape so it. fun. I, I would like to. Have you ever done that? T C? You've done that, right? No, You've, I've done every facet of surfboard building, but right. I always said that I would leave the shaping to the shapers because I didn't want to have to tell people that right. my shapes were good. <laughs> you know, because it's like, <laughs> just yeah. that's just me. Because I was like, you know, I, I can sand and foil like the wind, but so I can it takes shape practice. You one? Sure, why not? Yeah. Cool. But I, that's, that was my theory on it, is no, that I always was the... I was behind the scenes doing the manufacturing. Right, right. Yeah. Now, is Eric looking over your shoulder when you're doing it, or are you doing your own? He's helping when I uh, when I need some help. Right. He's definitely like guiding me in the process. Right. And uh, last couple of boards, sometimes we do a couple together, and then so he helps me with one, and I do the second one alone. And definitely working towards you know being able to do everything on okay. my own, but Very it takes cool. a little time. Very cool. Super cool. Now back, I'm going back. To, going back to Europe, TC. Going back to Europe. Going back to Holland. Dutchy land. Right. Tip toe. Oh, Tiny Tim, right. Tiny Tim, right. Tiny Tim mm-hmm. reference in the show. And uh, somebody put their uh, thumb in the dike, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we may believe that. It's just the phone. <laughs> Wait a second, TC. We got people calling. This is Lance. Lance, you there? Yo. Yo, how's it going? Good. How are you doing, Neil? Is this the great Lance Anderson? <laughs> yes. The one and only. Yes, you. sir. How are you, my friend? Fantastic. Well, I just uh, hopped in the car, heard you on the radio, and I heard the question about Shane Desmond. What's the answer? Backside. Uh, y- you are you are correct. Whether you won the surf deck or not, I don't know. <laughs> Chris, did anybody call and win the surf deck? Skateboard. 
<laughs> no, no one wants. Okay, yeah, Chris is looking at me, going, "You're an idiot." <laughs> a surf deck is that all right. Engineers yeah. going, "Hey, Lance, you won the you won. Yeah, yes, you won." I gotta go. I gotta go, Lance. I've got someone on the other phone. So uh, call me okay. tomorrow. I'll get you the deck. All right, sounds good. Thank See you, pal. Bye. Oh, Andy sure left because Andy had the question right too. So, thanks, Lance. I'm answering the phones now. Chris is over there taking a nap. Uh, I'm doing. I'm an engineer. I should get his paycheck. I'm engineering too. He's killing. Oh, I get the finger there. By go. the way, the you, finger, you don't want his fin- paycheck. The finger <laughs> arrived. Yeah. Was that the one towards the middle? Yeah, apparently it was. That's, I'm going back to Amory Reichman. Mm. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to talk. She started an SUP tour. Yes. Wow. Eleven city tour. That's correct. Uh, where yeah. I'm from, Friesland. It's the north of Holland. Uh, if you can, TC spells that. Uh, he's going to take you to dinner tonight. It was <laughs> F L E E C. Yep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? So there, there's a world famous ice skating race. It's 136 miles going through the canals. It's oh, uh, I've it's, seen that. Yeah, it's yeah. passing 11 cities. So it's ice 11 skating cities. race in the canals yes. are frozen. It's when they're amazing. Frozen. It doesn't and, happen how, every year. But how fast no. do they go? They go f- really fast. Like they fly. Yeah, the, they do it in about six hours mm-hmm. or less. And uh, paddleboarding goes a lot s- slower. So. Um, but it's a it's a race. It's like everybody's off school, and it's kind of like a holiday. It's like millions of people come to watch. That's where I'm from. So um, when I started paddleboarding, I'm like, I have never ice skated this race, but I want to take my paddleboard. So I took my 12.6 on the plane from Maui and uh, put it in the water in Holland. Did, did some training and um, paddled the same stretch in five stages. And uh, when I was training for it, I had this chicken skin moment going like, wouldn't it be awesome when people from all around the world could come to Holland and paddle here? Uh, Holland doesn't have the best amazing waves like we find elsewhere in the world, right. but the, the challenge on, the, on a distance and this, you paddle, you see windmills and cows and sheep and you go through cities that are from 1700. And tulips. Onwards. And tulips, of course. <laughs> but listen, realistically... Tourists from all over the world do river canal trips, and there's small boats that you can rent. It's a huge tourist Europe, destination. It is, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a huge deal. Yeah, and uh, as we all know, stand up paddling is a gigantic flat water business. Exactly. Yeah, and so it's a perfect place. In it's my a perfect opinion. place. Yeah, and the seventh annual is going to happen this year. So we built from you know I had obviously a awesome crew of people that ha- started helping me over the years but it was me by myself for about two years how many participants come out for that we have about 200 people at the moment and, and how long of a race or is it a race it's actually yes. a race you can race you can tour you can do a day you mm-hmm. can do five days you can do non-stop through the day and the night it's got everything it's pretty extreme um we have like i think we had about 15 16 nationalities last year from brazil australia u.s all over europe okay. so the vision and That's is there true. is there a gorilla with like muscles on his neck that comes out and just destroys everybody? Because I mean, it seems like Pretty in much. paddling right well, now, there's that guy. You know, those like uh, long, long distance people, they're a little bit skinnier and, you know, it's not the gorilla type. But well, uh, yeah, they come out of the woodworks and they yeah, just right, go to yeah. town. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, crazy. like the guy who wins the J race always has like neck muscles and stuff. Cause I, I've seen it really? every year. What are you talking They're, about? No, where, this, where are you going is, with Is this? it the bull neck? Yeah. yeah that's like the bull the, ne- right. Oh, that the guy. The best. Yes. Oh, yeah. You right. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That, yeah. that dude. They, Cause they're water polo players now. The best, like the, they're recruiting water polo players. Like that's the, the so secret. Did you have an SUP tour? Or is this just one event that you put on? It's one event. It's a year. It's in September, September. Okay. We, we say, so the first week of September every year. Right. And, um, yeah. Have you have, tip, have you participated in some of the paddleboard races in Hawaii, like uh, yes. Oahu to Molokai? Yeah, Ma- uh, Molokai to Oahu, uh, Maui to Molokai. Um, yeah, a couple of those they were amazing. How was it paddling? You know, you know, across the channel there, and using, yeah. obviously you're gliding with the waves. How was that? Um, it's the, it is my most favorite body of water, the channel in the Kaivi channel. It's the bluest water I've ever seen. Somebody once advised me to open my eyes and right. I did. And now everybody that's going, I'm like, open your eyes, open mm. your eyes. It's it's crazy. You're out there. You barely see another island when you start. Right. And then um, <clears throat> depending how the wind is, whether it's more cross or side shore, you well, know. Well, it whatever. gets really rough in that channel. Yes. I yeah. mean, that's be, I, my friend David Mill. Oh, yeah. He, he, he did a sailboard race and he Came across the finish line with no board shorts on. <laughs> well, I he missed actually, that one. <laughs> yeah, he actually had a, a, a spill so bad that he lost his shorts because it uh, high wind. Right. Uh, some some big 
downwind sailing too, I guess, right? Yeah, and it can break pretty big in there, in the channel. And isn't, uh, we had a guest on that was talking her, no, I take it back, Event Santa Cruz. Remember yeah. the Molokai paddle race? Right. It was a, the scariest day of her life, and it was in a, a canoe, outrigger canoe race. Yeah. And so that's a big body of water. And uh, I, I always say this, mentally, when you leave and you see wind already, is it's, it, what kind of day is that for you? you, you s- but downwind. Downwind, exactly. And, and the direction is not completely downwind on that stretch. Maui to Molokai is a little bit more, especially the last bit more in, um, in the back. But so much is happening and you have to, you know, be careful with the currents and what's your line. And so, you know. Can you, do you think you could help me out a little bit? Could, do you think you can get my co-host Terry Campion on a paddleboard? Absolutely. <laughs> You've I tried, can get everybody huh? on a paddleboard. He no. just has to say he, yes. I, he rips me. I mean, he, look at Jimbo Phillips today. S-U-P. S-U-P sucks. No, he said I, his... Uh, dropped in on I, him. I, I seen that today. Yeah. His, his Instagram was... S-U-X. No, it just said S-U-P-S-U-X. S-U-X. Yeah. Right. Because I called him today. And he goes, yeah, I had a wave of my life. And someone dropped in on me. A goddamn paddleboard. Yeah, the Last Supper. I've ha- we have that sticker in the house, you know? The Last mm, Supper. The last supper. Yep, yeah, that's yep. funny. I like that. Yeah, well, yeah, listen. And there's a time and a place. Yeah, that's my. That's what I was going to say. That was my next line. There's a time and a place. You Speaking know, of it's... time and a place, I have a bone to pick with this girl right here. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. All right. You know, TC, it's expensive to live in this town, right? And we oh, all yes. make. You know, we all do what we can to make a living. You know me. I do anything I can not to wear a mm-hmm. suit and tie. So I'm, I'm at this event in Monte Serena. Oh, nice area. Over the hill. Yeah. There's a baptism. Big bash. Baptism. Good food? Great food. Mm-hmm. I was a server at this thing. Huh. I, was a, I was a server. You were bow tie? I, I was bow tie, waiter, mm-hmm. server at this event. Very nice. Guess who was there? Who's there? Oh. Anne Marie Reichman was there. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Think she tipped me? Oh, no. <laughs> Not a dive. <laughs> Well, I always not a, tip. <laughs> not a nickel. It was a big house, Hold big it. view. I heard in Europe they don't tip. Where was the tip? Appet- I'm serving appetizers. No. She's mowing on appetizers. She's mowing on but, the cocktails. But, right? Is, am Zero I not wrong? tip. Nothing. It's normal, dude. What are you worried about? What do you mean normal? It, uh, this is United States of America. You tip. <laughs> you go to a bar. You leave, you guys, you leave the guys. You leave the geezer a dollar. So do you, are, you ask, are you asking him to give you a couple bucks right now? It's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> I can't recall. Actually, I'm, I'm a bar- bartender You sometimes. can't recall? No. Hmm. Balance, how about balance vector? Does that ring a bell to you? No. No. Nope. Yeah, are you picking I, another one right now? No. <laughs> I always tip, I so got, I, I can't I got see notes. this one. But <laughs> really? A little bone to pick. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about it after the show. I'm going to try and get my $2 back. My $2 <laughs> that she, you know, I felt like I was owed. Right. Uh, I have a question for you. Got TC. Mm-hmm. So you've been hanging out on Maui. You have a blind date with Eric Toda. Yep. He's a smooth, by the way, he's a smooth talking devil. I'm sure way. he is. Yeah. Um, oh, and he so the now you're line. now you're married. Oh and wait a minute! Whoa whoa whoa! Hold yeah, the pickup line. Hold yeah. it! Hold <laughs> it! Wait a minute! <laughs> Give us the pickup line. We want to hear it. How'd it go? It was no, the funniest word, thing ever. Word for word, we want the pickup line. Quote unquote. So I I know him from years ago, but never talked to him. Just saw him surfing. Was he hot? He was hot. Okay. And so um, he's got the hot guy. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He he did have that in his advantage. Yep. And you know, years later. He's uh, surfing, and I see him here and there, and I'm hanging with my friend, and I'm like, who's that guy? Like, you know, kind of yeah. s- bumping into him. Yeah. So when they surfing, I go back to my truck, and I'm just hanging out. Comes over, puts his surfboard in my truck, s- sit next to me, like, wow, already bold. got this kind of bold move. Yeah. Big bold move. My friend comes in from surfing, and we're talking a little bit, and then we're like, yeah, we're out of here, and he kind of corners me and just goes, so he's like, when are we going to go out? Like. Like, when are we going? Like, do you want to go out? No, when are we going? Wow. Kind of follows up with, like, showing me a good time. And I was like, what? Like, What'd who you is think? this guy? Huh? And I'm like, well, I'll probably see you around. And I called my girlfriends. They're like, no, you're not going out with this guy. I'm like, I know, right? He had a reputation? So, no, good no. reputation, ah. I guess. Like, whatever the reputation was. Um, however. So you folded like a cheap tent, didn't you? I was like, no, not really. <laughs> I was like blowing him off. He was texting my friends and they're like, gosh, I already texted him back. So that was kind of a slow start, but the first date was awesome. 
Hmm. Yeah. It was? Yep. Yeah, it's like, it's a sweet well, and, <laughs> and devil. so my, my, what I was going to say is, uh, so now you're back in Santa Cruz. Yeah. She lives in what, Marina. Yeah. What was the move to get you off of Maui to come back to California? What the move was? Yeah, like what, because Eric's been in Maui for like 25 years or right. something now. Well, Eric know? moved back uh, a while ago, like probably six, seven years ago. <clears throat> so when we met and started going out, like there was not a chance for him to move back to Maui anytime soon. Mm. So I came here. Oh. And we'll, we'll go together back to Maui. That's wow. the plan. Yep. That's the plan? Totally. There's Master no bridges plan. with love, man. No, not at all. No. It's on no. the other side of the rainbow. Yeah. Uh, you still sailboarding? I do in uh, Waddell Creek. I started uh, last spring. Super fun. So, and let's explain how Waddell works because there's a... There's a group of dudes that are sailboarding. There's a group of dudes who are kite sailing. And is there like a, a I, like I think of a swim pool with the rope and has floats on it. Like kite guys go here and sailboarders go over there. Sailboarders go a little bit more upwind normally, and the kiters stick a little bit more downwind as the wind gets a little flukier, a little less. Um, and I've stable. noticed that a little more towards the point now. Yeah, they're, they're dill south. But then the waves sometimes there's a nice point, so I'll just float down towards the end of the day and just sneak a couple. I'd, Kind of get, I think I can do that. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and are there a lot of women in Santa Cruz that are sailing now? Um, there's a few women out there, and um, they were all stoked to see another girl out there sailing. And I have, I'm, I'm super impressed with all the crew out there. They're awesome. Cool. When we come back. We're going to talk more to Anne Marie Reichman. This is the Off Black Radio Show. We are on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We have got some great shows coming up. TC. Wow, I this know. This is the 99th show tonight. Next, next week, is, week. Next week is the hundredth show. We're also going to have a hundredth mm. celebration show. We're going to talk about that right after the break. We we'll right back up this very short commercial. The time it takes to wax your board. We we'll right back. Don't go away. It's a new life for me. Yeah, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Hi, this is Sherry from The Healthy Way, here with Neil from the Off The Lit Radio Show and the Our Local Sports Show, who successfully completed a weight loss program with us. Yes, thank you, Sherry. I'm so stoked how I feel, how you and your staff helped me achieving my goal of losing 25 pounds. It truly was easy. And importantly, three months later, I'm still at my desired weight. I am feeling better, surfing better, and mention this KSCO ad for your free consultation with the healthy way. Let us show you how you too can use our simple and easy program. Just give us a call at 831-462-5900 or take a look for yourself at thehealthyway.us or follow us on Facebook. Paddle out on the most beautiful one-of-a-kind surfboards on the planet. Ventana Surfboards and Supplies sells stunning hollow wooden surfboards and body surfing hand planes made from local reclaimed woods. And we now sell eco-friendly surf supplies. Ventana donates 5% of profits to ocean conservation. Visit VentanaSurfboards.com to see our surfable works of art and more. We will personally home deliver your order anywhere in Santa Cruz County. Ventana Surfboards and Supplies. Craftsmanship, responsibility, adventure. This is Brad and Timmy. And Cleo from Cleo's Corner at Pono Hawaiian Grill. Featuring wraps, teriyaki bowls, plate lunches, amazing and creative salads, vegetarian and gluten free options, and over 20 different types of poke, all made to order, fast, fresh, and healthy. And what's your favorite, Kaleo? Um, the chicken fingers. Located at 120 Union Street in downtown Santa Cruz. Call us for takeout at 831 426 Pono. Or check us out on the web at ponohawaiiangrill.com. We put the ono in Pono. And we are back with the Off The Radio Show on KSCO. Streaming live on the Surf Channel. We're also streaming on thequiver.com. Just want to say happy birthday there to Tammy Hunt from Pono Island Grill. It was his birthday, I think, uh, yesterday was his birthday. He's in Hawaii right now, Maui right now. Oh, he's in, enjoying he's himself. He also wants to let everyone know, if you are... Having a Super Bowl party, get your Super Bowl party catered by Pono. Oh man, they got a great deal on some. Man, they have some. I had food dinner down there the other day. <sighs> Freaking good, dude. His pork's all time. Yeah, all time great pork. Yeah. So get your Super Bowl party food from Pono Island Grill. They're catering. 
And the thing with Timmy it's is, it's it. always like, yeah, bro, shock up, fuck <laughs> you. This is all time, bro. I love you. Let's go on. Aloha, do bro, this. Hello. Yeah, he's always so psyched. I know. Timmy's the best. Cool. Oh. Yeah, Timmy's the best. Who else was to mention? Tonight? Every time you're with Timmy, you feel like you're in the island. Exactly. You know, he gives he's you that vibe. Great guy. Yeah. He just sponsored the show. I want to thank him for sponsoring our show. Uh, tonight, our guest from the Netherlands. Hmm. We should talk about Amsterdam. Tim, oh, man, Amsterdam. What do you want to know about Amsterdam? It's dangerous, dude. <laughs> is Amsterdam. It, is it? When I went to Amsterdam, I'm lucky to still be alive coming out of that place. I just heard it's the adult Disneyland. It, it is. Yeah. No That's, holds barred. They said I can't go. They do stuff here that it it's makes It's slowing Vegas, down. Mm. It makes Vegas look like Pacific Avenue. It's way more fun than Vegas. Way yeah, more Pacific, fun. Yeah, Pacific, yeah. Let's make Vegas like Pacific Avenue compared to Amsterdam. You know, I just was thinking, is, is there a place in our town where you can actually buy windsurfing equipment? No. There's not, huh? No. Uh, not in the entire we town of Santa Cruz? Anymore. Yeah. We sell them it. Well, that's just a question that I was thinking to that's, myself. That's a great question. We're, we're drinking out of these beautiful um, water bottles. Yes. On the, right, Roby? From Lucid Sound and Video? Lucid Sound and Picture? Excuse me, Roby here tonight. I think maybe Roby's trying to make this his last night. He's so sick of the show. <laughs> He's tired of it. Jeez. He's been hanging in. He loves there, the though. show. But Roby, yeah. Roby's going. I got to have one of these balls. These balls are produced by Dopper, right? Yes. Dopper. What's the deal with the bottles and the Dopper? I got one. You get one, TC? No, no you didn't get one. I was late. I, I didn't know you had a co-partner, <laughs> but I'll, I'll get you one. That's okay. That's beautiful. What's though. the deal I, with these? What's the deal with these these balls you have on the table? Yes, I'm, I'm an ambassador for them and uh, the Dopper bottle. It's a Dutch design and they basically promote the bottle to reuse, filling, you know, f- refill your bottle, bottle, get a filter, get a pitcher or, you know, with a filter in it and reuse so we don't have to buy water bottles, plastic single-use water bottles that mainly, not mainly, but a lot of them end up in the ocean and uh, create a lot of crap in the place we love and play and which right. is our sanctuary right mm-hmm. so um yeah i'm really flattered and stoked and excited to be uh to be the messenger to spread the love about uh, keeping our so our they came to you to do that yes so nash came to you these guys came to you i was came Starboro came to you hmm. who's come to you tc you no know sometimes you need to ask <laughs> my paddleboard career no one's come to me no yeah, one. Um, zero uh, no one comes. Yeah, it's they usually ask for checks. You see them get, just get yelled yeah. at. Yeah, me too. Goddamn paddle border. Well, hey, be happy if somebody like Dopper comes to you. I mean that it's and explain Dopper. They're a mainly a reusable water container company. Is that the deal with them? Yes. Yeah, so the it's a design. So it's a water bottle. Like this is a cup, for example. So you can even if you would happen to have a beer on you, and I, mm-hmm. I'm drinking water, I right. could could. Possibly oh, just get a cup, cup, cup yeah, Got it. or okay. wine or something. Mm-hmm. That's the dopper shot. You can also have a water shot and keep it healthy. Tequila, um, tequila is a uh, is a possibility, option. right? Totally. Um, but mainly the the reuse and uh, the smaller one I gave to you is different colors, and uh, they come out with some bigger ones too. And hopefully everybody will have one by the end of the year and join join the flow. So it's dopper dot com. Dopper dot com. Check yes. it out. D o p p e r dot com. Now, Amory, I see you sent me some photographs today of some beautiful art that you did. Mm, yes, artist t- as well. T C. Mm. Is there something this chick doesn't do? Are you painting surfboards? I I paint my surfboards and some of my friends. And uh, what I started doing being here, just you know, from coming off places where I knew people and did a lot of things, I started all over again. And uh, what I really liked was doing was cro- cruise on the beach and find driftwood, and. Uh, do artwork on Driftwood, but and so that's. I'm going to post some of this art on the huh. Authentic Radio Show Facebook page, which you should get on it and like. Me? Have you? <laughs> of course. Okay, just <laughs> come on. I think that might have been your first like. What are you first talking like? about? <laughs> yeah, 99 shows ago, I liked it. I think. Uh, come on. Okay, tell Eric the phone number here is 831-479-1080. <laughs> okay, we want to sit the smooth talking bastard to give us a call. Okay. He was so missing eight, a digit. Missing yeah. a digit. Uh huh. But I know what he's missing. He's missing you. Come on home, honey. <laughs> huh? Come on home, honey. Come on, Eric. 831-479-1080 is the phone number. Interesting thing about Eric is I think he might have been sponsored like the first the kind guy. 
back in the day, you know, like that, I remember right. seeing that brand and, uh, he's still involved. Is he? Yeah. yeah. And, and that's cool to hear because he was one of the first guys that I sort of associated with that brand um, cool. growing up, you know? And so, and I haven't seen Eric in years, so it's, it'd be good to have him calling. Yeah. Totally. Give us a call. So we're going to go to commercial before we, when we come back, when we come back, I'm going to finish the show by talking about something you like to be a proponent of and that's living your dream. Cool. Right. So yes. can you give us a little bit about, you are want to give everyone you can as many people you can to stoke about living your dream. We're going to talk about that. This That's is Neil close to my NTC heart. with the Off the Radio Show. Here with Roby from Lucid Sound and Picture, who mm. do an amazing job. Fantastic, amazing job. Fantastic. Oh, clap, getting clap, clap, clap. a live stream. <laughs> We're the last show, or the only show doing a live stream at KSCO on 1080p. The, sh- the YouTube looks freaking. Good. I don't know why the amazing. other shows aren't doing it. Chris, my engineer tonight, as always, he's been here every show, 99 shows. And hey, just by the way, yes. that guy skateboards like the wind. He does. Yeah, Chris he's is an der- avid he a skateboarder. Derby. He was at Derby yesterday. Yeah. So, you no. see him at Derby Park. He, he hits Derby out, hard. Chris. Chris, the engineer, hits Derby hard. That's right. All right, we'll be right back after this very short break. Do not, do not go away. Hi, this is Jeff Wernerhalder from North Bay Ford. Proud to sponsor the Off the Radio Show. We're here to support the local surf community. With well, a full inventory of trucks, hybrids, and plug-in hybrids, come see why the F-150 has been the best-selling vehicle for 39 years. We have the perfect surf vehicle in stock, the new 2015 Ford Transit van. We have a model that will fit your needs. Come to the no-hassle, easy place to buy a car, no stress, no drama. We make it easy for everybody. We're locally owned, locally operated. North Bay Ford at 1999 SoCal Avenue or www.northbayford.com. Hi, this is Tim Lostlot, head golf professional at De La Viega Golf Course. Come join us at De La Viega Golf Course Driving Range for happy hours on Thursdays from 4 to 7. Also visit our new De La Viega Disc Shack located at the world-renowned De La Viega Disc Golf Course. Hours of operation are Wednesday through Sunday from 9 to 5. And don't forget about our demo day at De La Viega Driving Range, April 18th. It's a Saturday from 9 to 4. Don't miss out on the latest and greatest manufacturer's releases for 2015. Lastly, we'd also like you to remember that De La Viega is promoting our short rounds at De La Viega Golf Course. Come out and enjoy a quick little 3-hole, 6-hole, or 12-hole round if you're time-challenged. Don't forget to visit us at 401 Upper Park Road, Santa Cruz, California. Also visit us on our website at www.delaviegagolf.com. Chill Out Cafe on 41st Avenue Santa Cruz is not just a block from some of the world's best surf, but it is also where you can go relax and order the tastiest grub before and after your sash. Plump burritos, fresh salads, sky-high sandwiches, and a superb selection of hot and cold drinks. They have something for you. Go to ChillOutCafeSantaCruz.com to view their menu and to place your order to go, call 831-477-0543. Chill Out Cafe, where they roll the fatties. And we are back with the last 10 minutes of the Off the Lip Radio Show. Flies by, huh? Yeah, we have so much fun doing this show. I know, it's crazy. A lot of fun. 99th show tonight. And you know what's crazy is we're still having such a great time. I know. 99 shows into it. I want to talk about shows coming up really quick before we talk back to Anne-Marie Reichman. We have, next Mm. week, we have uh, Dan Hayfley. Oh, yeah. From the... Um, we have Surf Rider and O'Neill Odyssey next week, right? We have Surf Rider. We have Amber Jones from uh, Surf Rider. She's mm-hmm. the new chairperson. Uh, Dan Hayfley from the Odyssey uh, O'Neill. Yeah, O'Neill Odyssey is a fantastic program. Surf Rider, program. fantastic. Lots that's, of history right there. Right. That's next week, the 100th yep. show. The following week, on the February 3rd, we have the tribute to the one and only Mike Loco Locatelli. I can't wait. So if you have a Loco story, yeah. either come on down to studio... Or call in. Loco was a great character. Tell us man. about it. Tell no, us about I'm it. just saying. I mean, I like a surf surfer, shop, surf shaper. Um, he was uh, a leader. He was a um, friend Passed and away. family Wait. member. Right. And right. Uh, unfortunately, we lost him early. And Wait we have some early. of his best friends coming on. We're going to talk yeah. about Mike Locatelli. Right. And February 10th, we're going to have our 100th, our 100th show celebration, extra large. Mm. The 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 renowned Santa Cruz band. If you want, if anybody loves dancing, 
We're dancing that night, right? Hell yeah. I'm bringing my dancing, dancing shoes. Yeah, yeah that's a dancing night. No, I'm not yeah. talking. No, we're uh, not talking. Yeah, we're dancing. No, we're not talking. We're dancing. And we're going to stream live dancing Stream that live. If you want to come down and have to seat extra large, you're going to be in studio mm -hmm. rocking the place. I guarantee that's going to be a sellout. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So that's our show's coming up. And we got to have, oh, I wanna end of ticket. February, Doug Hout's 75th birthday show. Wow. I tell you what, this show gets better every week. It's fun. Yeah. We got Ron from Monterey giving us a call. Hey, Ron, how's it going, buddy? Hi. Um, can I be a bit of a, a downer, a, but a, a, a good kind of downer? Sure. If, can I ask you guys? I used to body surf in San Francisco when I grew up, but about radiation from Fukushima. W would you guys eat the fish anymore? Yeah. And, and I like, would. does anybody? You, would you, TC? Like, how does it go? The deep. I eat fish all the time. Hello? I own a fishing boat in the harbor. I'm a, a passionate sport fisherman. I 100% think and like, that... Do uh, we really know? Listen, do you, it, the bottom line is, would you eat a McDonald's hamburger before you would eat a halibut caught off of the seabed here in the Monterey Bay? Of course I would eat a halibut before That's I would eat... That's the call. Eat. I, know, I know. That's yeah. the call. So, uh, of course, we have other problems besides Fukushima. We have local pollution. We have needles in our right. sidewalks we have uh i mean we can go down the list but um you know is anything safe today maybe not but halibut off the monterey bay uh-huh tastes good i'll eat it every day hey ron maybe we'll have a show in the future about, about i tell you what ron we may have a i think we're gonna have a show probably in the future discuss this some more we need a we need a, right. okay what we good need point. is we need good a uh, we I need think this, is, this is more for just for a phone call i think it's yeah. a, i think it's a subject for a show good but, point but Thank yeah. you. Hey, you thanks, Ron. Ron. Appreciate Good call, it. too. Call. We need to get Captain Mike Baxter on the line about that. We have Captain Eric on the phone right now. All right. Hey, you smooth-talking yeah. bastard. Okay. Eric. Yes. <laughs> tell, us about the, tell us about the first date you had with Anne-Marie Reichman on guest night. She's telling me that you were, you were just kind of like full of piss and vinegar. Confident. Uh, Confident. Uh, I was, no, it was uh, lack of, actually lack of and kind of new to the dating game again so it was kind of like all or nothing yeah you went all out all you went big. You know did you really I mean, oh eric <laughs> hey it's tc and by the way hello i haven't talked to you in a long time but did you really walk up and put your surfboard in the back of her truck <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much wow you are amazing <laughs> I, I have to all. share that fact with them honey <laughs> so any groms out there any young men out there looking you want to date you know what you see it you see the gal walk up the stairs at 38 go throw your board in the back of her well, car and for it sure works for sure the dude's all bronzed right oh, he's, yeah, he's been bronzing in maui all year right, right? You know, yeah, the, yeah. the board the stickers are in the right spots he laid it in the back of the truck and right yeah yeah, well, you're painting a, a nicer picture than reality. I was, <laughs> I was, I was uh, fresh off the boat from uh, California to Hawaii. You know, so you're back, little... you're, you know, back, you're back, you're backpedaling, dude. <laughs> you're backpedaling. No. Let's just say, let's just say, I was a little chubbier and a little wider. Oh, oh, you're kind of a right. load. So the bronze Adonis put on a couple pounds and. <laughs> hey, but it still worked. <laughs> yeah, it still worked. And uh, Eric, let's talk. By the way, while I have in the phone, the early Dakine days, because seriously, back in the day, you were kind of one of the first guys to be involved in that brand. How'd that happen? I uh, just, you know, being a grom growing up on Maui, and they were. I lived in Haiku, and they were a local company in Haiku, and you know, it was a pretty small surfing community back then. So you know, everyone knew everyone, and. Um, yeah, I just got in at an early age and, you know, I've been with the company ever since. So <laughs> that was eons ago. Yeah. And, uh, and so where are you living now? I heard down in the South Bay a little bit, right? In Marina. And so, uh, sneaking out to those secret beach break spots like <laughs> usual. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. Don't you know? mention it, honey. <laughs> Yeah, we're not surfing. With we don't, we're not getting invited to go surf. Trust well, me. hey, and, you guys and, and, are. And oh, we are. Okay, thank Felix you. at Sandollar said we can't we can't talk about his surf. He's spots. not mentioning anything. Yeah, no. As we as we say down here, though, it's it's heavily guarded, regardless of, of surfers or, or or big fish in the water. It's uh, it's guarded, so surf at your own risk. Perfect, and. Uh, you don't get much time on a sailboard, huh? What happens when your uh, lovely bride goes windsurfing? You leave, you sit on the beach on a towel. He's at home doing laundry, vacuuming, <laughs> and making dinner. 
<laughs> which is what he's doing right now. Okay. She's on the radio. He's at home. But no, no, no the, the, you're not. You haven't been big in the sailboard scene, huh, Eric? Never. I never got into sailboarding. I uh, I tried it a few times, and uh, yeah, I, I would definitely go just for fun. But I, yeah, no, I'm not very good. Check out Eric's boards. Tota. Yes, Tota T- surfboards. Yes. Tota t- surfboards. T O T A H. And we have yeah. a Facebook page. You have a Facebook page. Yes. Check him out because it's th- 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 beautiful. Well, boards. and if uh. So you're, are you making boards like have somebody wanted to check out an Eric Tota surfboard, how'd they reach you? Facebook. Of course, through the Facebook page. Best, best, best spot. Best yep. spot. Okay, hey, and you go way back with Pete Mill. What do you think about Pete Mill being the ASP? Think he's going to run that shit? Oh, oh I swore. Yeah, TC. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> Eric, you think he's going to you think he's gonna run that stuff? <laughs> oh, that's the first swear word we've ever had in the show. Oh, damn, nice call it. TC. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Is, hey, uh, on fire. Eric, hey, not, Eric. To, not to interrupt, but I swore, and that's a bad thing to do on the radio. But getting back to that, what do you think about Pete Mel running the ASP? Make it quick. That's awesome. I think it's. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just talking to his wife this evening, and, and I'm really happy for him. I grew up with Peter, and um, it's good to see him you know, moving on with his career and, and still being been able to do what he loves and, and support his family. Very cool. Very cool, Eric. Hey, hey, it's Eric. good to talk to you, buddy. Thanks, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. See you in the water. Thanks for letting me catch your wave tonight, too, by the way. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Okay. End of the show, TC. I swore. Hold I know. it. What by the doing? way, it may be the first. There's a, new, there's a new button on here. It says Hold it. Dump. Chris, the engineer, did we get that? And yeah, within five it. seconds, <laughs> he got it? There's oh, a good. button. Hey, there's a button here. It says dump with a bunch of... <laughs> Exclamation marks and green Point things it, on it. The dump can, button. Can I say one more thing? Absolutely. Yes. About living your dream. Yeah. Oh shoot. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just. I. I don't. Sorry. It's your like the goal. part of my saying has been for a while. A dream of life. Live your dream. Yep. And I just like to encourage everybody to dream big, and be really happy with small steps to work towards that goal. And uh, things don't happen overnight, but keep believing, keep dreaming, keep living it. Absolutely. Please. Good words. Wonderful Aye. words. Well, thank- I will end the show with that. That's amazing. Thank Again, you. Uh, rest in peace, Ricardo Dos Santos, who we dedicated the show to tonight. Yes. Want to uh, give his condolences to him because his you know, family. It's and a sad day for surfing today. It's it really sad. is. And uh, I just think that uh, hopefully the world will be a better place tomorrow. Neil and TC with the Authentic Radio Show with our guest, Amory Reichman, tonight. Want to thank you for coming on the show. It's been a wonderful experience. Had a great time. We'll see you next week with our 100th show. Here. Good night. Night. Good night. Your source for news, sports, traffic, and weather. AM 1080, KSCO, Santa Cruz, San Jose, Salinas, and Monterey.